Congratulations. Thank you. How much fun was it to come on this film with all these guys? It was fun. They're a bunch of dummies. And it was really a good time to be in New Orleans in the summer with this bunch of weirdos. And, and, I mean, we have other women in the cast, but you're kind of the strongest women that we see, and it's yeah. really fun to see that. Adam is amazing, and you guys are amazing together. Talk oh, okay. about working with him. I adore him. Uh, I worked with him very briefly before this. He does this show called Greatest Event in Television History for Adult Swim, and they recreate uh, title sequences from, like, 70s, 80s comedies. So we did Bosom Buddies uh, with Adam and Paul Rudd and A.D. Bryant, all these amazing <sighs> people. It was really fun. So I already knew I liked him. He's a good person. He's so funny, very laid back. So it was really wonderful. Um, and I had worked with Rob Corddry on Community and knew Clark and Craig socially. So it's really nice when you sort of know what you're getting yourself in for. And they're just a, a really solid group of nice, hilarious dudes. Was there anything in particular that you said, I have to do this project when you got sent the script? I like to do just like a diversity of, <laughs> of projects, whether it's, you know, an anal demon film like Bad Milo or, <laughs> or um, a more serious film like Black or White with Kevin Costner and Octavia Spencer. I like to, you know, just switch it up. So it was about time to be in a sequel. I've never been in a sequel before. I like, I like very specific comedies, and I feel like this comedy has its own own specific tone mm -hmm. and they've created their own world and it was really fun to be a part of that so I, I i enjoyed that aspect of it greatly i agree it does have the it is the same tone as the first which is not always doesn't always happen with yeah. the sequel but it was refreshing to yeah. see and you've done such great work on television and in film um your career is kind of all over the place which yes. is really fun to watch <laughs> and i was just going to say we loved black or white it was so much oh. fun watching that and such a different role to see from that to this yeah i <laughs> shot those two back to back and really? it was july and august in new orleans so i've sweat more than i ever sweat in my entire life and i used to do bikram yoga so that's saying a lot um yeah it was really it was really fun I so enjoyed getting to spend that much time in New Orleans and learn the city and wander around and go to weird little museums. I had the best time That's <laughs> on awesome. my days off. Yeah. That's awesome. When you came on to set the first day, was it intimidating being with all these guys because it was a sequel or were you just like, game on, I'm here? You know, you feel like you're a guest in their house. <laughs> I, I'm sure in the same way that when guest stars come to community, they're a guest in our house. But on the other hand, I did know all of them, so it wasn't like I was meeting them for the first time, but you want to be respectful of what they've created, but also feel brave enough to throw something out there. But it, it, was, it was a wonderful time. What do you think people are going to love the most about the sequel? I'm just staring at Rob Corddry's legs <laughs> on the poster of this film. I mean, he's a sensationally attractive man who's in terrific shape, and you really get to see a lot of him in various outfits. So I'd go with Rob Corddry's body. Yeah, and his wardrobe. Yes, in his wardrobe. <laughs> Thank you.